What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Ju, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to give you guys some quick Atlanta Falcons news. And I also want to talk about outside linebacker, Dante Fowler Jr. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms. Um, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. Uh, but with that being said, uh, your boy is on the road to 2000 subscribers. So I really appreciate each and every one of you guys support as always. Uh, but with that being said, Let's jump right into the video. So first off in Atlanta Falcons news, the Atlanta Falcons did get uh, Kendall Sheffield, a cornerback. He did return to practice today. And also Josh Andrews, left tackle uh, or left guard, excuse me, did return uh, to practice as well today. So glad to get these guys back. Um, they are rotational guys and guys that can add depth uh, both to our secondary and into our offensive line. Um, Kendall Sheffield um, is coming back at a great time at this point because AJ Terrell um, has been injured um, due to that concussion and he's still in concussion protocol so it's definitely a bright spot to get Kendall Sheffield back because he can add more depth uh, to that secondary um, I'm not too sure when uh, Kendall Sheffield and Josh Andrews will be cleared to go back um, or get back on the actual playing field like during the games on Sunday but I'm definitely looking forward to getting these guys uh, back out there. Uh, glad to see these guys uh, back at practice. Um, but with that being said, um, that's pretty much all I had for Atlanta Falcons news. Um, now, I do also want to talk about in this video, Dante Fowler Jr. Um, and how he could possibly be an X factor for our Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Dante Fowler Jr. last season did have a disappointing season in 2020. Um, he only had three and a half sacks on the season. And this season, he has turned the corner uh, in this Dean Pease 3-4 uh, scheme. Uh, Dante Fowler Jr. is looking like his old uh, self when he was with the L.A. Rams and the Jacksonville Jaguars. He has found his mojo and found his swag. And he's had uh, two great games back-to-back -back where he had two impact plays. Um, the first game was against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Week 2 where he was able to get a strip sack fumble on Tom Brady. Um, and we were able to recover on that play and get a takeaway for the defense. And then last week in the, the win against the New York Giants, um, it, he had a clutch strip sack fumble um, against Daniel Jones uh, late in the fourth quarter to give Matt Ryan and that offense the ball back. Um, he came up off the edge on second down and forced – a third and long where it was third and 19 because he was able to get around the corner, around the edge and basically swat the ball out of uh, Daniel Jones's hands. So we always talk about here on my channel. Um, I always talk about this three to four plays in a game that can change the game. And Dante Fowler Jr. has come up with two clutch momentum shifts um, for this Atlanta Falcons defense the last two weeks. And we're only three games into the season. And Dante Fowler Jr. already has two strip sack fumbles and two sacks on the season. Um, he's only one and a half sacks short of his uh, total production last season in 2020. Uh, Dante Fowler Jr. did state that he was injured in 2020 and he battled an ankle injury and he also battled COVID. But this year he said he was uh, coming into the season that he was feeling 100 percent and that he was back to his normal self. And it looks like Dante Fowler Jr. is going to have a big year. Um, I definitely think that Dante Fowler Jr. this year uh, could exceed the 10 sack mark this season. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons haven't had a double digit sack guy uh, since Vic Beasley in 2016 when we went to the Super Bowl. But I definitely think that Dante Fowler Jr. could be that guy uh, for our Falcons, could be that X factor as that pass rusher that we've been looking for. Um, when we signed him to that big contract, I believe it was three years, forty five million dollars. Um, when we signed him to that big contract, they were expecting him to come in and be that John Abraham of our defense to be that uh, Vic Beasley, to be that premier pass rusher. 
And I believe that Dante Fowler Jr. has gained his confidence back. Um, he's back healthy. And I expect him to have a big season for Atlanta Falcons. If he keeps up this production, he could easily have uh, 10 to 15 sacks, uh, anywhere between 10 and 15 sacks uh, this season. I'm going to say that he's going to get at least 10 sacks this season um, due to how well he's playing. But I've been really impressed with Dante Fowler. As you know, coming into the season or uh, during the offseason, he did take a pay cut. And basically, all of his uh, bonuses are incentive based based off of how many sacks he comes away with uh, during this season. So I expect Dante Fowler Jr. to ball out the remainder of this season and possibly be re-signed by the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I do think that he's playing well enough at this moment to that he he will be a player that we have to keep on this roster uh, due to us needing pass rushers and we lack pass rushers on our on our squad. I definitely think that um, if Dante Fowler Jr. keeps up this pace, I definitely expect Terry Fontenot to give this guy a new contract, even maybe before uh, even maybe before the year is out. They try to re-sign or restructure Dante Fowler and bring him back for a couple more years. Um, I definitely think that he has the tools to be that number one pass rusher. He is one of my favorite Atlanta Falcons defensive players. And I wanted him coming out of the L.A. Rams when the when the Falcons brought him in. He was a guy that was on my radar. And I was really um, excited when the Falcons signed him because I know what Dante Fowler is capable of. Um, in college, he was one of the best, uh, the best pass rushers coming out of the draft. And when he, ever since he's been in the league, even when he was with the Jaguars um, and he had that uh, bad knee injury his first season as a rookie, he was able to bounce back and help the Jaguars get to the AFC Championship game uh, when they had uh, Blake Bortles uh, as their start, uh, starting quarterback. Then a couple years later, he went on to go to the Super Bowl, help the Rams get to the Super Bowl two years ago. Um, and I expect this year him to continue to elevate his game and continue to be that dominant pass rusher that I know he can be. Um, but would you? Um, but if you enjoyed uh, this video, please let me know um, in the comment section if you have um, any other video that you would like me to do or any other content that you would like me to put out. Definitely leave your, your comments below and your questions below. But I definitely think that the sky's the limits for a guy like Dante Fowler Jr. I definitely think that he's the guy um, that everybody thought he was coming into uh, Atlanta. I definitely think when they signed him, a lot of people had high hopes. And this year, he's showing you in these last two games just a quick glimpse of how good that he can be and that he could definitely be an X factor for our Atlanta Falcons team. Uh, but with that being said, this has been your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.